playing Alan Wake Part 2. Going to continue on from the cabin moving forward. Enjoy the content. Sure, we were inside with the lights on before sunset. It's not the darkness is the problem, it's what's in the dark. This is. <laughs> It's Welcome dark in there. Two. We need lights. Can you figure out how to get the power on, honey? Like and subscribe. It really is uh, it's getting dark, huh? Hello? Anyone here? We just clear the house out first, make sure there's no one just camping in here. For a moment, the oppressive feel of the nightmare I had seen on the ferry returned. I needed to get the power running in the cabin. There had to be a fuse box or a generator somewhere on the island. The cabin looked like a time capsule from the 60s, Look or the even calendar. earlier. Then we would know when someone was last there, 1970. Good lord. That's been a minute. Locked. Yep. There'll be something in here we can, uh... More coffee, huh? He loves his coffee, huh? I prefer tea, but and warm water. The power cable goes to that shed over there. A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. Get the power on. There's the main objective here. The minor little goal. So let's get this power on. This a clue. The island had once been the site for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. In the shed, huh? That's the, definitely the generator. I just need to figure out what An old there. generator had been connected to the power cable. trick on me. Alice wouldn't have come out in the dark. started to arrive. Just ran into one on the ferry. Famous artist, no less. Upstairs, huh? Alan, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. Well, hello there. I'm not the surprise. It's in the study. Go take a look. <laughs> okay. Surprise! Alice? What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past- Damn, Alice, you, everyone- Hey, keeps... hey, hey, just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe... So now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not- Alan? Alan? I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alan. There God is damn it. There. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. Oh. Alice? 
in there, man. <gasps> Jump. Yes. I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. Alright. Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it. And I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover, either. The gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. Definitely a hike. We can do it, man. I say it's a nice view though. I like the ferns, I like the rocks. Got a nice little hiking trail, it's pretty cool. Ooh, creepy at night. Hello? Time, but yeah, I can dig it. Hello? Is someone there? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. I've been in an accident! The lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. I need two premium cabins for rent in. Oh, hell. Carl Stucky. Pleased to meet you. Non reputable Stucky. Reservation deposit required. Fair and square. Yeah. 
I had to figure a way out of this. Any second now, and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. about to open the door as long as I was liable to catch an axe with my forehead. Trying? Yes. It's mm. Right fall, Sheriff Station. Mm. Hello? Roman? Help. Out the back door. Let you. We'll flank you. I'd never fired a gun outside a shooting range. And now I just killed someone. Or something. There were no bodies. They just disappeared. If I was dreaming, it felt real enough to make me sick. The dark forest was the last place I wanted to go. But I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. Get out of here, bro. We gotta make it to the gas station. Always having flashbacks to get that crazy witch. What the hell was that? When I saw the river below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. Stucky was still out there, in the dark, stalking me. It's not good. Be careful, bud. Stalking is my business. Occupation. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. This is the worst ah. time to be out of ammo. Ah. Shit. I'm dead. Go. Oh. The staircase was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. I couldn't stay here. There had to be a way to get up there. Yeah, come on. Let's go around, I guess. Why is this like random coffee jokes everywhere? no power. There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site. I feel very like uneasy right, uneasy right now because we're basically the victim, clearly. We barely got to, we got no ammo, 
because the gun's useless. And there's a bunch of enemies. What you can With all this forestry equipment around, there had to be something I could use to reach the top. Got him up. I really do like that flashlight touch where you can pull back the enemy with that black one. It's really cool. Yeah, it's got Subscribe, drop a like, drop a comment, let me know if you played this game or if you're going to play this game, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, people. Peace out.